Today is Blizzard Lalo across my town hall. The first one, which is a town 11 taking on this town hall 13. Is it really a town hall 13? Granted, there's a lot of lower defenses here. See the town hall, but everything around it is interesting. And I'm going to go with a Blizzard Lalo here in today's video with town 11, 12 and 14. 13 is going to be a unique wall wrecker attack. Just hold tight with that. That's going to be an interesting plan here. So we take a look at the CC. Nothing. I'll take that. So we are going to charge what? Well, we want to send the blimp in first. And if we take a look at dropping a circle on this base, how do I want to drop this blimp? Well, if I can drop and sneak the blimp in right about here, or maybe a little bit closer to that town hall, I can take out, well, I won't take out all this stuff, but I can take out the town hall and all of this. And then we can send our heroes behind and maybe grab the Royal Champion or something here. And then the Lalo can come over this way, maybe like that, because the Blizzard can also kill the Queen. So that's the plan to go all the way across. Lava Hound, boom, and a blimp behind. I'll drop like a balloon. Okay, we find a seeking air mine. Do I have to go? Okay, I'm gonna go freeze. I'm gonna go invis. Invis rage, land. Oh, just made it. Another invis, bam, we make it here. Let's go make them invisible so they can now go for the expo after. Boom, they killed the queen, perfect. Now they're going for the multi, let's, or not the multi, the single. And then another invis, they're gonna go for the other side single. Damage it, expo, damage it, damage it, yes! I'll take it, all right. Let's go and get the king down here. Let's go and wall break. Oh, that's a terrible wall break. <laughs> Guys, you know, sometimes these things happen. It's not my fault. Okay. Let's go and wall break now properly. Hopefully we can wall break that. Open. Pop King ability. He run back to run back around. Alright, we killed the queen. We're killing the royal champ. So we'll start the Lalo now. Drop some balloons, balloons, balloons. With the warden assistance. Drop some minions. And as we continue our way through, let's go and pair these balloons up with the haste. And now let's drop some balloons directly into the scatter shot. So they can take that down. Alright, so they're they're dealing with that. Let's go. A couple more balloons into this area. As we continue our way through, let's freeze up this wizard tower so our balloons can make their way towards this single. Two more balloons like this. All right, Warden. It's going to freeze you. All right. Queen's ability goes off. Taking out that back air defense. Giant bombs are here. But now this Warden Eternal Tome. We're going to haste our way into this air expo. Pop that Warden ability. Drop some minions up and around. Okay, let's see if I can... Oh, no, they're going to that storage. I wanted to see if I can pick off that air defense. Drop minions here. Is it... Or not the air defense, air expo. The warden's taking the air expo. I'm pulling red air bombs. Oh, no. The wizard tower is going to smash through these loons so quickly. It's not going to be funny. Oh, my gosh. Come on, balloons. Take it out. Oh, they do. Now it's up to the balloons to take out... Oh, no, it's the gear mine. Come on, balloons. Come on. Take out that air expo. Maybe the queen damaged it. It's damaged. It's going down. And yes, it goes down like that. We are going to get a three star here. What is this? Town 11 versus a rushed Town Hall 13. So the Blizzard Lalo works. Granted, no CC, but the value is crazy with those Super Wizard chains. Well, let's jump into another Town Hall 11 attack. And this one, again, we don't have a CC, but what are we going to do? Don't have to worry about the Town Hall fighting back and hitting us, so we don't need to necessarily go with it with a Berlin, but we're going to go into the Defending Queen. Even if there was a Clan Castle, we would still go here, because look, we have a Sweeper here, we have a Sweeper here. So if I can send the Blimp, land here, grab the single, which will chain through the Sweeper, take out this whole compartment, then we could either run the King and Queen this way, wall break into that, go that, that way, or wall break, go, have them go this way, wall break into here, grab that. Probably grab this stuff, so that our Lalo can pretend potentially continue through here and then our heroes may continue either into this section out of this and then the minions will be able to help grab the town hall as we fly all the way around plus the sweeper is pointing this way so coming from behind the sweeper is probably most ideal but we'll see the value of what our blimp can get and let's go for it all right here we go so we'll start off with that lava hound here hound and that blimp and i'll just drop a balloon behind maybe it could do something if not it won't matter We'll go with an invis, rage, land here. Okay, they'll kill the queen first. At least that's the plan. Okay, go for the... Oh, maybe not. They'll go for the single. Air skellies. 
Let's go and do another invis. They're going to go for... Oh, okay. We're going to do another invis. Taking some damage. Grab that air expo. There we go. Okay, perfect. And one final invis to help grab that sweeper. And all right. So now we... Hmm. I'll actually go from this side. I'm going to drop a minion to pull the air skellies to the king. We'll drop a mini. I'm actually going to decide to send my heroes up here. So I'm going to go ice golem, wall break. And now the queen will follow into here. Drop another minion. To oh, actually, there's two minions up top anyway. So they're going to run there no matter what. King is going to go around. And we will wall break into this Tesla so the king can go through there. All right, let's drop some more minions to help clear this. Hopefully the king queen will follow the king pop ability. Warden is set to air. All right, now they're going to run this way. I'm going to drop a few balloons with the warden first. Some minions. Because if I drop the hound, it's going to fly all the way across. And now I'll drop the hound as they're about to get in the wizard tower range. Some more like so. Drop a minion. Oh, that's not a minion. That's a balloon. All right, so we can drop a haste. We drop another hound down here. As we fly our way through. A couple more minions for cleanup. Okay, so we got the uh, Eagle Artillery, which we could probably freeze. Some more balloons, more balloons. Haste around, freeze up that Eagle. No worries here. Keep these balloons moving around. Queen's ability will grab that single target Inferno. Freeze yet again. Well, <laughs> I mean, these balloons got to make their way all the way around here. So let's just taste them through here. Uh, oh, the eagle's only locking onto one balloon, so I definitely don't need to pop the warden ability. Plus, the eagle is now down, as we can pop the warden ability to help protect the queen, these balloons, as we make our way all the way around, taking out the core thing, which was the queen. And if there was a defensive clan castle, it would have lured that and pulled it out. Probably also even maybe killing off that CC there, but the blizzard Lalo, even if there was a CC, this still would have worked. It would have been very strong. It wouldn't have mattered. CC or no CC. But granted, I just would have taken one poison spell just in case. But if there's no clan castle, you don't need that poison. Now 13 versus 13. And I'm going to come in landing near this town hall with our blimp. Why? Uh, well, because if I land by here, I can also potentially grab the scatter shot. So what? I'm going to drop a hound here and then a blimp behind? Actually, no. I'm going to try to drop the blimp here. And then use no hound because if I drop a hound, it's going to go here anyways. So I'm just going to use a few balloons to try to protect this area and have the blimp fly in. So I get it, keep my hound, try to make it into here, take this out and then use my heroes to move in and take it out this section where the queen is. And then our Lalo can potentially come in through here with the Royal Champion because the Eagle Artillery is up on this side. So we want to take it out as quick as possible as we eventually then make our way into the enemy Royal Champ with Headhunters running across underneath to kill her off. One, two, three, and blimp now. Get the Invis ready. Okay, we're flying, we're flying. Oh, seeking air mine. Invis rage, boom. Doesn't get a shot off. Did some wall breakers. We did another wall breaker. It opens near the town hall compartment. Town hall is going down. All right. Oh, they chained through the town hall. Grab that. I will take it. Oh, scatter. Don't get a shot off. Nice. Oh, we're damaging the enemy queen. Taking out that expo. Oh, I like that. Drop the baby dragons. Ooh, CC's at the bottom side. All right, that's fine. Drop the king up top. And I'm going to drop a headhunter once this king goes here. All right, queen's in range. Yeah, drop a headhunter. So I'm trying to think. Should I drop... I can drop a wizard here to go for this air defense. A couple archers. Oh, the headhunter might pull out the CC. Hang on. It does. It does. It's super minions. All right. That means queen's coming to the top side. Since super minions coming out of here, they need to kill that off. We will drop a wall break. Won't really do much. Drop an ice golem. Poison you. And we'll wall break again, which won't really do much here. Poison is killing you off. Going to drop a royal champ up top. And let's see, King's ability will run through here so that our heroes actually will make their way to the multi. So we can actually start the Lalo straight into the enemy RC. So we will start a hound here. Oh, okay, never mind. So we'll drop a few balloons like this. Drop a hound here with the warden and some headhunters to go straight for you. We can freeze up that scatter. And yeah, this is going to be uh, no worries. So we're going to drop the next uh, hound and then we'll pop the warden ability to protect this hound. Boom. So that the hound is protected all the way through. Drop a couple more uh, balloons here. And that's a key thing. When you get good with the Lalo and you're able to time the warden ability, you really want to try to protect the, the, the hound and headhunters 
with the Warden Eternal Tome as you move your way through. Just drop some of these and we got plenty of spells. Plenty of freezes. The value was immense with that blimp, the Super Wizards. You take out a Town Hall. Try to always go for the Town Hall if you can. I don't need to use that freeze because it was a donated freeze right there. So I can then not worry. Town Hall 13, taking it down. There we go. And of course, if you want to see any particular text, let me know down in the comment section down below. Now let's try Town Hall 14 here. And Town Hall 14, we're going to send this blimp right through. I'm going to try to land. Hmm. I'm trying to get it to go here and land like right about here so I can wall break and hopefully I can grab the Town Hall grab the multis and grab this whole section and then I can send my heroes maybe into the scatter into here to take out this and enemy royal champ and then our Lalo can pretty much come from here yeah we do have one sweeper that's pointing like this but I'm gonna have to freeze the sweeper and the multi as we continue our way through because the defensive queen is through here but if the town doesn't go down then our heroes are gonna have to go for it so it is what it is oh and then I have another plan is I'm going to drop a hound here make this invisible so the hound then retargets to this air defense and pulls any traps in this area so the blimp can go through boom and then we'll go with the invis couple balloons and then the blimp right through oh that blimp is way too early okay all right so we're gonna try to freeze this we're going we're going we're going the angle's not there drop a rage drop an invis all right so giant bomb let's go with another invis here Okay, you know, the wall breaks are okay. Not too bad. They're killing the CC. We are going to get access to potentially that multi other multi-target Inferno. Maybe if they want to reach there, they killed the CC. They get to that other multi and they damage it. But I don't have any other invis, so they're not going to take it down. So we're going to get our king to go here. Baby dragon like this. Get the queen like that. Ice golem out front. All right, so... Let's see, we're gonna push our way towards the scatter shot. We're gonna try to send the raw champ in towards this multi at this point now. Um, let's go and wall break. Drop a wizard here. Drop a headhunter. Drop a RC to the scatter. Pop king ability. All right, so we're, okay, nice. Headhunter was perfectly timed. There, two balloons under this cannon as we continue our way through. Poison these skellies on this defensive hero, slow them down. And as they are making their way through 40 minutes, okay, 40, okay, let's go 40 minutes. I'm actually going to decide to switch up that Lala from the top side because the heroes are getting some nice value down south. They're getting all the way through this eagle. We'll be able to continue this path through. Another hound, RC ability, drop some more minions. All right, so pathing right on through here. All right, we got a wall breaker. Just wall break that, probably won't do much. That queen is dead. All right, let's go ahead and freeze up this multi. Let's go in haste. We're going to freeze. Not yet. We're going to wait. Pop one belly now through some traps. Drop a haste. Freeze. And there we go. Looking good. Getting our way into the scatter shot. And then it's the wizard tower here. Minion. Some headhunters. And there we go. So that blimp. Pulls out the clan castle slash kills the CC, takes out the town hall, and then our heroes went for the other heroes, which is the royal champion and the queen. You don't need to worry about the king on the defensive side for the Lalo, but you do have to worry about the king if you are sending headhunters through a certain section. But Liz Lalo taking it down to town hall 14. And a town hall 14 with a ring base here. If we take a look at this one, it's going to be an interesting attack because we're going to have a giant protecting a royal champion at the very start. Why? So take a look at this air defense here. I'm going to try to land the blimp right about here. But the only way to get a hound to test this area for traps is if I have the hound fly from here down to this bottom side. But the only way to do that is if I make this air defense invisible or if I send a royal champion into here, take out the air defense, but right before the air defense goes down, I send the hound in. So the hound lands here and then moves down here. So I have to wait until the air defense is like barely any health left as the RC takes it out. And then the blimp will go through here because I don't want to land the blimp here, 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 because I don't know where traps are in terms of like giant bombs and things like that. But if I land right about here, I should hopefully be safe. 
and then I can wall break. It will break this wall open and hopefully they continue to grab the town hall. They step over here, grab this, maybe even chain through the CC, take that out or even take out the CC altogether without even getting lured out. But the Royal Champion will probably end up pulling the clan castle out anyways. But so I'll drop the blimp from here as the hound cuts across and then my heroes, king and queen will go through here, taking out this towards the eagle. And then our Lala will come right through here with the warden ability protecting the headhunters to take out the enemy world champion. But notice the enemy RC is next to the town hall. So if I chain through the town hall, I might also kill the royal champion. But that's the plan. Let's see if it works. Here we go. All right. So first I'm going to use the giant to tank for the royal champ to help protect her. There's the giant. There's the RC. Now this is all about the timing. So as the RC is going to make her way in towards this air defense, we got to drop the hound. She gets there. She's going to get one shot off. Another shot. Drop the hound. Drop a couple balloons. And the hound's going across. Oh, I'll just drop a headhunter here. All right. RC ability. Okay. Maybe that wasn't there. But we're going to still make it. Invis, rage, boom. Take it. Enemy queen has got a uh, very low health. We'll drop another invis. Okay, we didn't kill the enemy RC, but we're going to hopefully kill the scattershot. We did kill the enemy queen. We did wall break, giving us access to that single target inferno. Oh, giant bomb taking some damage, but they're still alive. As we can now drop the ice golem up top, king and queen all together. And hey, that was some very nice value. We'll drop a poison spell, a wizard over here. As we continue our way through, I'm going to drop a baby dragon to help try to force maybe the heroes in towards the eagle artillery a little bit better here. All right. Continuing our way through. So we can freeze up this multi when I pop the king ability. Let's go and freeze it up now. Pop king so all the barbarians provide the distraction on the defensive king. Look at this. So now the defensive king is totally distracted. So it allows our king to take out the defensive king super easily. So now we're continuing to this eagle. And I'm going to Lalo. Actually, I'm going to Lalo from the top side. Uh, the reason is because I don't want to wait too long. It's a minute 34. And I think and I have a pretty clean path through here. So I'm not too worried. We can go and drop a haste. A couple more balloons here. We can drop another hound. So when we pop the warden ability, it protects the headhunter, the hound, all the way across the base. Boom. So just like that. Drop another haste. Kill that queen. But continuing this push through, freeze up that scatter. Now pick off these point defenses. As we continue our way around, freeze up that multi, drop some more balloons through here, and plenty of loons to spare. Freezing that up, drop in the minions, and there we go. We don't need these archers. So, oh, there's a wizard tower in the corner. That won't matter, but you can see the value. What I was going for, we were able to get the hound here, but I dropped the hound a little bit late. It had to be on top of the air defense in order to move down, so it kind of went from here this way, but you can see taking this out allowed me to then damaged the enemy queen i threw a headhunter in as well since the rc was here but the value with the blizzard landing in an area where there wasn't a giant bomb trying to keep them alive blizzard lalo is such a strong attack you should be learning for your next cwls or any attack in clash